was an absolutely amazing girl. She deeply cared about everyone. She would always ask everyone how they are. And I'll never, one thing I'll never forget is her contagious laugh and her smile. She always had, she had the best laugh and she always had the biggest smile on her face, no matter what. And she could instantly put a smile on your face as well. If you're having a bad day, she just, she knew how to make you happy. And I'm grateful that I could have called her one of my very good friends. Um, so here's some memories of Isabella and I. So in physics, we were busy learning about um, the different kinds of bonding. We learned about oxygen bonding. And when you do the Cooper method for oxygen bonding, it's it looks like this. It's got an O and then like two lines because it's double Cooper bonding and then another O. And Miss Kohler said, who in the class wears circular glasses? And Bella and I both have circular glasses. So we now refer to us as oxygen bonding. She's my oxygen bonding partner because our glasses are circular with the two lines in the middle, which is like the nose part. And I'll forever remember oxygen bonding as our glasses. And she would always tell everyone, especially me, physics and math jokes. Uh, I didn't understand any of them. So she'd have to explain to me and then I still didn't understand them. But then we just laughed it off because it was so funny. Um, and our locker conversations, her locker was quite, was almost next to mine. And every morning and at break, we'd always have a conversation and just laugh about everything. She was always so energetic. And I remember last year in music, we were busy doing a music worksheet. And none of us really knew what we were doing because we didn't really understand it. So we all asked Bella for help and she was like, guys, but it's so easy. And we we're like, yeah, it's easy, but we, we need some help because um, we didn't really know what we were doing. And in grade eight, Mia and I were obsessed with Stranger Things. And at Isabella's get together in grade eight, we got her to play the Stranger Things uh, theme song on piano. And it was, it was awesome. And she would always show us like the new pieces she was learning on piano. And it was all this complicated sheet music and I can read sheet music, but I could not understand a single thing that was happening on that, on the sheet. And in EGD, we sat next to each other and we'd always get like our drawings and we just look at each other and just try and help each other try and figure out how do you do an isometric drawing? Like we know how to do it, but you have three sides and how do you put it together to make it look like something? And yeah, so those are some of my fondest memories of Isabella. I love you, Bella, and I miss you so much.